the ability to work for their, your education, take care of your children, and so many other things hinges on your ability to meet your own basic need, including food and shelter. For many women, that also includes the ability to obtain feminine hygiene products, which can be expensive. It's not just a problem facing other corners of the world. It also affects many women right here in Kelloland. Brian Manor is the co-founder of the Pad Party. She's joining us to tell us more about their effort to collect feminine hygiene products this Martin Luther King Jr. Day and how many sustainable period products can have an even greater impact. Welcome. Thank you. So, I mean, you, this is the 13th year? 13. Um, this, you've come a long way, right? Yeah. And how do you feel about some, maybe where things have shifted even just in the way we talk about it and why is it important? Yeah, well, having a five-year-old daughter kind of changes the game for me yeah. specifically. Like, I just want this to be normalized. Um, it's, it's a part of life. Um, and I know that there has been shame in, you know, it's almost like a rite of passage. You know, mm -hmm. we, we get our periods typically in like late elementary school, early middle school, which is like just an awkward time, <laughs> right? Yeah, and I don't make it harder. Right, <laughs> I just don't want there to be any shame. And on top of that, um, a problem that we identified was we're always so worried and, and all valid reasons. Um, but we think when we think about homelessness, we think about food and shelter and clothing. Mm -hmm. There are so many other things that those that don't have the means struggle with. And one of them is access to period products. And the story, I'm going to go back to the origin story. My, my beautiful friend Katrina, um, who had just had a baby, went and volunteered at the banquet. And there was a family that came in and the, the woman had just had a baby and she was using her child's last type to get by it just it broke her heart it broke her right. you know to a point where we're like what can we do about this it was a wine and cheese party to start you know yeah. where we just gathered in our living room and brought some bags of pads into the banquet um, and it's grown into a movement Ashley like we're just we're we're floored and we're, we're always like pleasantly surprised by the support of this community um, but but to be able to make a difference and be able to stock the banquet and other shelters with product for an entire year means the world to us I, I love that it's addressing both from the from the side of the language you use and the way you talk about it and normalizing things yeah. and for girls everywhere to not look at this as something that is negative it's and not. the way we've talked about it for years I mean how many ways is that flow visiting I'm, I I'm know. knocking on the, whatever these all these phrases we can't just say it right, right. because there's something supposedly shameful about it right. and we got to change that but I also love that it's addressing this greater part of this pink tax, right? Like yes. the fact that it's more expensive for women, it's taxed at a higher rate. Like right. you can get Rogaine tax free, right. but you can't get a tampon. And, and the supply chain issue mm -hmm. as well, which we've we've been grappling with for the last year or so. It's just another, you know, uh, effect of what's happening um, out there in, in the nation. But for us, you know, I think something that we can do, some of us that have the means, that have access to clean water, mm -hmm. we can consider some of these sustainable products. And I know it's weird. Yeah, right. You know, like I am the first one to say like, oh, I don't know, you know? It, yeah. Because we're just so attuned Change is to- Change hard. Exactly, right. exactly. In anything that you're doing. But so you've got a couple of different varieties here. And you even earlier this year, it's not currently, but earlier had even a trade in. We did, So yep. that's a really fun way to get people kind yeah. of started Just on trying it. to encourage sustainability and a lot of the the, the people that are starting these businesses are female founders, which also speaks to the work that I do in the community. Mm -hmm. um, entrepreneurship, founding new innovative products to help society. This this is cool. You know, this is innovative and I, it's disruptive to the industry to some degree. But again, this is for some, uh, 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 an early adopter, someone who's got the means versus those that truly need these products, the, the traditional products. Let's keep those on the shelves for those who need it and maybe try something different. And for those that maybe um, find this to be a financial burden, but do have the means still to, yeah. you know, with laundry and everything, that this might yes. be a really great also Absolutely. way for, for you to have and more if sustainable. And you're not sure, right. something I would, I would very much encourage you to do is stop into one of these beautiful boutiques in, in Sioux Falls. One, because you should support yeah. local. And two, because they are very knowledgeable and most of them use the products themselves. So if you don't know and you're not sure, they're so happy to help you. And continuing to have that conversation yes. in public, which is good. Let's talk yes. about the actual event, though, so people can yes. make sure they get their donations Absolutely. in. So this is, this is a save the date. So we're actually looking at Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but you can donate anytime 
Now, there's a few things new this year. There I are. know you have um, a bingo event. We do. So we typically do the bingo before, but we're going to do it all in the same evening um, this year. And something to note as well is that we are looking for more cash donations. Mm -hmm. This is probably a good thing, but the banquet's uh, supply is a little overwhelmed. So they'd love to be able to, you know, replenish throughout the year with cash. So you can donate um, through their Venmo. It's at the banquet SF, um, but then at the event itself. So we're doing this on Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service, which we always do. So Monday, January 16th, 4 to 7 p.m. at Convalo, which is a beautiful new venue. Mm -hmm. they're, they're allowing us to come in and use their space, which is unbelievable. We have local support from different businesses that are donating gift cards as prizes to the bingo. Um, each card will be two bucks, and all of those cash proceeds are going to go to benefit the Promising Futures Fund, which is supporting underserved schools in the area. So we're able to branch out um, and, and help other other uh, entities because we've come so far yeah. with this movement. And we see so many times teachers who already have such limited resources out of their own pockets buying these period products for girls that don't have access to them and things. That's just really like it shouldn't be happening. Yeah. So it's great to support that as well. Um, drop off locations yes. for the actual products. They're yes. on the screen too. And that's up until the 16th. Yep. Right. And so it's pads, tampons, liners and incontinence products. Okay. Or what we're taking. Um, and just, you know, reiterating what you said that cash donations are really a good big they push are. because of the space to store everything. And Absolutely. obviously, a lot of times, places like the bank would have a buy in power too. That they is really, do. really helpful. So they do. I love that this has continued to go on. You know, there's some good options. Uh, keep talking about it, right? Because we've yeah. got girls. Keep talking about it. And there's, if, there's not a reason that this should be taxed higher. There's not a reason it should be more expensive. There's right. not a reason it's not just a basic necessity like a food, right? Exactly. Exactly. For you to get to work or take care of your children or do all the things you need to do. Mm -hmm. There's so no shame in it. continuing in that day of service is, is such a fun thing. So this will be the 13th year. You have a big goal. Want to say the goal again? Yeah. So we'd love to raise $10,000 and 25,000 individually wrapped products. Typically, we see between 25 and 50,000 individually wrapped products during this drive. And we're trying to diversify that with some cash this year. Well, that'll so. be really important to, like you said, ex expanding, yeah. you know, where you can buy and how much you can get at a time and Absolutely. also kind of spreading it out. So thank you so much thank for being you, here and for this wonderful service project. Absolutely. Period power. Period power. <laughs>